So I don't know how well you'll be able to hear me with me being out in the middle of a field on the soil ranch here. Uh, I'll explain more on once we get into the woods here. But by the title, I reckon you can tell that we messed up when we went to uh, Snyder Cemetery. So as I said, it's windy out here, so I hope you guys can hear me all right between the leaves rustling and everything and the trees. But welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Veil. Right now, we're heading to what I like to call Portal Pond. Uh, through the entities that I've made contact with on my property, they all, they all say there's a pond, or not a pond, but a portal out here. And I have a very strong notion that it's a certain pond area here on my property because it just it gives everybody uneasy feelings. It never fully dries up, no matter what. You can be in a two or three month drought and it'll still not dry up. Um, however, it's uh, just one of those things that people always go by it they're really uneasy about it. Some bitch can't kill that out. People just go by it as quick as they can. I've mentioned it in other videos, but today you guys are gonna get a little look at it. And brought my recorder out since I'm by myself, which it took a lot of courage to come out here by myself. I do not like this place. It makes me very uneasy. Um, but I'd do it either way. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? All these spirits here are stuck here either way. Um, worst case scenario, the thing that never lived, never died comes out, which if it does, you gotta stop the dead wave app and get that on camera because that would be incredible. But, um, you know, I'll get a couple shots here of the portal pond and, uh, after. I explain the story of what happened in Snyder Cemetery and get a few shots of the portal pond. I'll go ahead and do a Dead Wave app uh, spirit box session for you guys. And uh, I'll have it on the voice recorder. So I'll, I'll record in video the recorder after I do the session. You guys can see what you think about that. Um, what had happened was not uh, Riley's phone didn't get all the video. To the dead wave app session that we did there at Snyder Cemetery and uh, I don't think anything of it but we never said goodbye and we never said anything like that they're not allowed to follow us so we pretty much broke rule one of investigating always say goodbye whether it be contacting through a Ouija board or any kind of contact at all always say goodbye um pretty much later that night went out to check just how much how many moths were on the front of my truck after we hit that swarm and uh i was smoking a cigarette out in front of the house and had my flashlight on i thought it was my shadow but i jumped because i thought it was a shadow figure that was right up behind me and then right after that i got the i noticed the energy and uh it ended up actually being a shadow figure, and then my mom's dog was looking at me weird a couple times. I don't know if it attached itself to me or to the dog, but there's an uneasy feeling between the two of us. And uh, just little things like that. And uh, I figured if I'm going to try to contact her or it, there's a couple of different spirits there at Snyder Cemetery. What better place than to where all the spirits get dropped off at here at the portal? Um, the reason why I do believe it's a portal is spirits that are here in this area seem dazed and confused. They don't really speak too well when being contacted compared to the ones up near my house and everything like that. They can make a lot better contact. If you hear knocking, that's my aunt on the property doing something. It's not somebody knocking, not an entity knocking on the trees, but... Since I got the story about Snyder Cemetery out and how we screwed up, get a few shots of this, what's left of the pond. Like I said, it never fully dries out. 
and there's a lot of animals that have died in it because it's that type of mud that you just start sinking in. It's not quicksand. Quicksand isn't real, but it's the type that you lose a shoe when you stand in it. Get a few shots of it here. It is pretty close to being dried out. Normally it's the whole way out to here, right by the trail here, but it's pretty far in there now. But it's just a random pond in the middle of the woods for no rhyme or reason. It's all downhill slope. There's another pond on down the way, a little piece that's on my neighbor's property. But this is one where everybody gets uneasy feelings, especially up over that way there. For whatever reason, they just get very uneasy feelings. But I think the entity that was brought into existence was probably erected from this pond area here. I mean, if you can, you can just kind of imagine a whole bunch of people standing around this area in cloaks, summoning some form of ancient evil back hundreds of years ago. But once I finish my cigarette here, we'll get into the uh, Dead Wave app session and see what we can hear. See if I get any good communication out here. Usually I don't. Usually it's just kind of like screams and like they're just, like I said, they're dazed and confused. They have no idea what's going on. But I'll get set up on this down tree over here. about why you're here. here 
in the woods. Somebody said, Doctor, are you a doctor? Is there a doctor here? Do you need a doctor? Say my name. Okay, well, I don't have much time. I'm going to get going. Goodbye. 